Hi, let's take a look at WaveLab Pro 10. When you first open WaveLab Pro 10, you get a startup window here, which should give you different options. You can open an empty project, um, a template, maybe a last project you work on, or maybe a specific file. In this case, we're just going to open an empty project. So select empty project, click OK. This is a general layout of a WaveLab Pro 10 when you first open it. Now, the first thing you want to look at is the preferences. So under WaveLab Pro 10.0, if we look at the preferences, it will open in this uh, bottom section here, your preferences. If you note it under File, Preferences, you can also open a specific preference directly from under File, Preferences here, which are the same. You open the, essentially the same window with just a different uh, preference here. So if I select, uh, for example, Audio connection, it will open that tab here. So it's the same thing, except here you select a tab. There you have direct access to that specific preference. Now, if we look at the global preferences, you can select the resampling conversion quality uh, up to very high quality. Uh, the default fade and crossfade, you have different options here. And the, precision, uh, the processing precision options here, 64-bit float or 32-bit float. Under audio connection, you have multiple tabs again. Uh, that's where you select your audio device, your audio driver. In this case, I'm going to select the Dante Virtual Sound Card. You have a control panel here, which allows you to select the buffer size for that audio device. And the tab below allows you to select your inputs and outputs. So under playback, you have uh, the, the uh, different uh, inputs and outputs you want to choose for that playback. If you notice, you have a reference track. Um, you could choose a reference track. Uh, for example, if you want to compare or hear, monitor uh, the pre-mastering uh, track and where you're at. Uh, so it allows you to kind of compare and see see where you're at within the process, mastering process. You also have a speaker arrangement. For example, you might just want to hear um, a 5.1 mix, for example, or just the stereo version uh, as a quad or center channels, etc. On the recording tabs, uh, same thing. You can select the, uh, the recording inputs. External effect. So in this case, you could, for example, uh, go through uh, an external hardware, such as compressors, uh, limiters, uh, your favorite hardware. Uh, in this case, I have a lot of inputs and outputs to choose from, from the digital, the DVS, Dante Virtual Sound Card. And you also have different options here. One of the important options that you want to look at is maybe the release driver options. Uh, for example, if you are using WaveLab Pro with uh, combination with Cubase and New Window, you might want uh, to select uh, when Cubase New Window uh, to release the driver uh, once Cubase and New Window is in the foreground, or maybe not. So this is an important um, uh, preference for that. Uh, you also the prefer sample rate and uh, sample rate change timeout. So we just look at the global preferences, some of the global preferences for WaveLab Pro 10 and the audio connection functions where you select your audio driver and where you create your inputs and output busing as well as uh, connections to external effect.